Ethereum today houses multi-billion dollars worth of assets with over $10 billion of stablecoins on top of other ERC-20s. Additionally, users interact with NFTs, DeFi, and other decentralized applications on a daily basis. Ethereum is facilitating billions of dollars worth of economic activities. The consistent high demand has brought gas prices and transaction counts close to all-time highs. Additionally, mining has become increasingly industrialized. The barrier to entry is getting higher and higher. We need Ethereum to evolve for better security, scalability, and decentralization. Meet Ethereum 2.0, which will bring two major upgrades to the protocol. First is Proof of Stake. Proof of Stake will have validators who can participate in adding and finalizing blocks with even PCs at home. All validators will have an equal opportunity to receive rewards for securing the network. Second is sharding. There will be 64 identical blockchains, or shards, that will be coordinated by the beacon chain. Nodes will only need to listen to the transaction on their shard, creating a more scalable network. Since this upgrade needs to be conducted on a live network, there is a lot at stake. To mitigate some of the risk, Ethereum 2.0 will be rolled out in phases. In phase 0, the beacon chain that uses proof of stake will come live. The capabilities of the beacon chain will be limited, and the original proof of work Ethereum, Ethereum 1.x, will be running alongside the beacon chain. In phase 1, Sharding will begin, and the Bitcoin chain will start working with 64 other identical chains. In Phase 1.5, Ethereum 1.x will be merged into Ethereum 2.0, living as one of the shards. In Phase 2, Ethereum 2.0 will finally be unleashed with smart contracts enabled, functioning a lot like the Ethereum 1.x we know today. We will take a closer look into Phase 0 focusing on the basics of Ethereum 2.0 Proof-of-Stake and the rewards, penalties and slashings involved with it in the next video.